everyone! For this video, I'm going to be showing you all the plushies I have made this past year, and here they are. There are quite a lot of them, and I have them all in this big bin. I have a tutorial for most of these plushies on my channel, so if you are interested in learning how to make them, go check out my channel. And if there are any plushies that you would like to learn that you don't see a tutorial for on my channel, let me know and maybe I will just make a video for it. So the first plushie I'll show you guys is this cute little rubber duck plushie. This is like one of the first complex 3D plushies I had really ever made, so I was super proud of this. That's what it looks like. I have a bunch of these little dinosaur plushies. I have this one, which I believe is called the Stegosaurus. And then I have this one, which is, I believe, the Brontosaurus. I hope I'm saying these correctly. And then I have this one, which is the Pterodactyl plushie. I made these in a bunch of different colors. They were just so cute and so much fun to make. I have these cute little penguins. If it will focus. <laughs> so adorable. I made the penguin actually two different colors. So I have a blue one and a black one. A lemon pie plushie. I also have a key lime plushie and an orange pie slice. I'm running out of room to hold all of these. Um, I know I have another pie plushie. Oh, here it is, and a strawberry one. I have these cute little panda and teddy bear in little ice cream cones with like little cream and sauce on their heads. Super cute. This little popcorn plushie with little popcorns up on the top. This plushie took so long to make, but it came out really cool. So. I was really happy with it. I also made a bunch of pretzel plushies, and this is what they look like. I sewed on little beads as salt, and then I made also chocolate-covered pretzels, and sewed little beads on them as sprinkles. And I kind of went a little crazy with the pretzels. I made the normal, the chocolate-covered with sprinkles, and then I made chocolate-covered with like a chocolate drizzle over it. And then I also made a half dip chocolate covered pretzel with the sprinkles on it. So I went a little crazy with all the pretzels. <laughs> my favorite plushie by far out of all of these is definitely my little cow cube plushie. It's just so cute. I love it so much. So cute. It has a little bell, a little bow. It's just so cute. I also made this little pizza plushie. Its template was like super easy to make because I took it from the pie plushie template and just modified it a little bit and was able to make this plushie from that one so super cute and cool how you can like take one template and modify it just a little bit and get a completely new kind of plushie. I made this really cute little orca whale plushie. He's so cute! So adorable! I had so much fun making this template. It was just so much fun and so cute and I made this one in a few different colors. I have a pink one and also a blue one and what I love about them how they have the little um, button sewed on his little eyes. A little chocolate chip cookie plushie, so cute. I love the ribbon, how it has little hearts on it. I made a whole bunch of these. Uh, here's one, here's another one, and another one. Lots and lots of cookie plushies. <laughs> a panda bear plushie. I had also made a smaller version of this plushie. So what it looks like, just a tiny bit smaller than the other one. It's fun taking the template and making it bigger and smaller and seeing how much different the plushie looks because, I don't know, I hadn't tried making it smaller, but then after I made it, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so cute, and I don't know which one I actually like more, the smaller one or the bigger one. I don't know. And a little more into the holiday season, I have these little gingerbread plushies, a gingerbread man and a gingerbread lady. Also have these little pumpkin plushies, mini ladybug plushies that actually have a little magnet glued on the back so you can stick them up on the refrigerator or anywhere that's magnetic, honestly, and just super cute little decorations to have. A little coffee mug and donut friendship plushie, and the coffee mug actually says I heart coffee on the back. A red panda plushie. I had actually made this one before, the panda plushie, tweaked it a tiny bit, and then was able to make the other plushie with this template. Little present plushies, they're little cubes, and then have little bows tied up on them. 
super adorable. These are kind of like um, generic present plushies, like they're just white with colored ribbon. So I also made little holiday themed ones. So here they are. This one has little reindeer on the ribbon, little lights. Hope it will focus for you guys. Little lights. And then this one has red and green stripes on it. I made another trio of presents with a holiday theme to them. And this one's a Valentine's Day theme. So they're all like pinks, reds, and whites. So this one has like little hearts on it. It says, kiss me, cutie pie, stuff like that on the little hearts. This one's just pink with little white polka dots. And this one's white with a pink ribbon with little cupcakes and strawberries and looks like cherries on the ribbon. I made a few fruit plushies. So I have a little apple, orange, and a little banana. Some flower plushies. These took so long to make. And I remember the template took me so long to get just right, but very happy with how they finally turned out. And lastly here I have the vegetable plushies. I made a little carrot, a little bell pepper, and then lastly a little tomato plushie. So those are all the plushies that I had made this past year and it was so much fun making every single one of them. Sewing has become such a passion of mine and I absolutely love it so much. YouTube is where I learned how to sew and I absolutely love being able to give back to the community and give back to others and spread this hobby to other people. Whenever I get comments from people saying that they learned how to make their first plushie from my channel or that my channel inspired them to start sewing again, that just means everything to me. Sewing is something that just makes me so happy and a hobby I hope to keep forever. And being able to spread that hobby to other people and have other people find enjoyment and passion in it as well is just, it means so much. For anyone who's been on my channel for a while now had probably noticed I stopped making videos for almost a year and a half. I want to say it was about that long. And then about a year ago I came back and I've been really trying to keep up with my channel and keep up with sewing because it's something I have found just means so much to me. Sewing is something that just makes me so happy. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to go give it a thumbs up if you did like it and also go subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and goodbye.